Brevard County business owner knows someone is breaking into a shop. And that's why he staked out his own business to catch some would-be burglars. News 6 reporter James Barbero joins us now from Melbourne. He explains how that business owner is hoping to get results for himself and his neighbors. As tobacco ages, it gets very smooth. For smokers, a cigar lounge is all about unwinding. It's very relaxing. And if anybody knows about enjoying a 10-year-old Oyo de Monterey, it's this man. It's awesome. Richard Monroe, the owner of the Smoking Fish on Wickham Road. Cigars are like wine. But at 4 in the morning Tuesday, Richard wasn't using his lounge to relax. My heart was pounding. He was staking out four people police say tried to break in. Three teens and a 20-year-old wearing masks and these gloves trying to pry open the back door. Richard's store to be just another break-in in a recent spree of vape shop burglaries. Every single vape shop in town has gotten hit. So I decided about two months ago to start sleeping in my store waiting for them. They tried everything. Crowbars, hammers, what a ruckus. And when Richard heard all of that noise, he called police. I told them that they could catch them right now breaking in. And officers did catch them. These bad guys learning not to mess with a small business owner, vigilant and getting results to protect his store. I was just glad to do it. There's about seven or eight of us that are going to be real happy. Going to sleep a little bit better during the holidays, knowing that they don't have to sleep in their store like me. Those arrested are all charged with felony counts of attempted burglary. The youngest one in the group is just 16 years old. Getting results in Melbourne, I'm James Sparvero, News 6. And James also tells us this story is also a bit of revenge for that store owner. He says thieves did manage to break into his vape shop four months ago. He says they emptied his shelves that day. But since then, his business has recovered.